Good morning and welcome to Gridbusters. Today what we're going to be doing is cracking on with the second fix electrics. So what I want to do is get all of the plug sockets in in the plant room here and also the stairwell and then we've got the breaker panel or the fuse box to put in here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut a th this hole here, I'm going to make it a lot larger. So we've got a nice big hole behind the fuse box. Uh, sorry, in the UK we call them fuse box. I know in America they call them breaker panels. Uh, but yeah, we'll just call it a fuse box. So the fuse box is going to go here. Um, obviously there will be a lot more cables than this coming through when we extend the fuse box from the living room next door. So I want there to be a lot more space. And what we're going to do today is mount the fuse box there and then transfer everything that's in this temporary fuse box into the big fuse box uh, which I have. So uh, let's get on with it. The first job today is going to be wiring up all of the plug sockets. Okay, well, we're starting the second fix electrics. I'll just show you what I'm doing with this uh, socket to start with. So the first thing I need to do is just get these screws out a little bit. I painted over them so there's a little bit of paint on them. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I just want to say is do not use this as an instructional video. Uh, big disclaimer here, um, you know, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to come across as like this is like the way to do it. This is just the way I install these plugs, okay? So don't use this as an instructional video, this is just the way I do it. Okay. Always good idea to leave I always like to leave a little bit of slack in the wall so that if we ever need to change a socket or something in the future, um, we've got some spare cable up in there. Uh, I'm just going to snip the ends off these anyway, just to get some fresh cable. There we go. Let's get these the same length, actually. There we go. One little rule I always have is Whenever cutting cable with a knife, I always wear heavy duty gloves. Um, so I've installed close to a hundred of these sockets now <laughs> in both houses. So yeah, done this a lot. So this is just the way I do it. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it, but it, you know, it works for me. Okay. So just always wear gloves for that bit because it would be so easy to cut your hand. Right. Bring these down about a centimeter is what we need. Right. Oh, there. Okay, so the French sockets they come in singles, um, so you can obviously just put a single in if you want or you can kind of like put two of them in a double back box and then you've got a double cover or if you want you can even go three or four you can you can you can get like you know more, you can put as many as you want in a row i've seen 
covers with four outlets. Um, I've got a couple of three outlets behind the camera there, which we're going to do later. So quite clever the way they kind of hook together like that. But obviously it, it is a little bit more complicated. So uh, it, it's much slower than putting UK plugs in because when you do a double socket like this, it's actually two <laughs> you're doing. And then you've got to line them all up and yeah, it does take a little bit of time. So uh, there we go. So what we'll do is, I'm not sure if you can see that. You can see there that, so in essence, what's gonna happen is we just line that up like that. Yeah. And then that all gets screwed in. And then we have a separate blanking plate, which then goes over the top. So that's how it works. Now this, um, is a circuit here so we can't just connect one into the other um, otherwise the circuit will be broken so what we need to do is we need to connect these together um, internally so we have to create some bridge wires to connect to the two um, so what I'm going to do first of all is um, I'm just going to hook up uh, the first one so I can see the neutral uh, goes here okay then we have an earth and then we have a Alive. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same on this side. So let's just see that. Yep, that's correct. So we've got our neutral here, our earth, and then we've got our live. So that's all done now. All we need to do now is get some. Uh, bridge wires to connect between. Uh, so that's the next thing I need to do. I need to go and find some cable. So I've got some, um, some cables here. I'm uh, just gonna cut these to the right length. They need to just be very short. So I'm just gonna quickly measure that. So we're talking about there. I think, let's just see, would that be the, yes, that would be the longest, okay. So what I will do actually is I'm going to strip these back before I cut the length. Okay. Right, there we go. So first one's going to go in here. That's going to bridge over to here. Always make sure these are Absolutely secure, really important. Okay, what I always like to do when I'm doing these sockets is give everything a good tug, make sure everything is secure, because these are just push in connectors and they are all completely secure. Okay, so now I just need to, this is the hard bit. <laughs> this is the bit that's so hard with French plugs. I'm sure there's an easier way of doing it, but I just don't know it, is to get everything in the box and then get the screw holes lined up. First one's the easy one. So we're gonna go with that one there. I'm just going to go with top and bottom for now. Okay. And then you've got to somehow find the screw hole on the other side, which is not easy. Uh. Okay, there's a screw already in that one. I need to remove that one. Screw I forgot to take out.
Here we go. Okay, so I've got the top and bottom one in on that side. Now I just need to get the bottom one in on this side. You can put the screws in a little bit first and then fish the socket in, but with all the cables connected, I find that to be very difficult to do. Okay, so I think we're there now. That was the hard bit. Okay. see how well this plate's going to fit. Yeah, it's not going to fit, so I need to take this side screw out, I think. So I'm going to take that one out and then move this along a bit to close that hole. There we go. So, tighten that up there. Tighten that one. See how well that fits now. Goes that way. Yep, that will work. Right, so let's just get everything tightened up. Ooh, still really humid. It's cooled down a bit today, but it's still humid in here. Oh dear. When I was doing the painting yesterday, it was so hot. I was thinking, oh, I'm doing the electrics tomorrow, it's going to be easy. But it's not, it's still hot. <laughs> okay. Job done. Okay, so phase one of this renovation project is finished. I've got all the plug sockets installed. Um, the fuse box has now been installed. Um, as you can see, I've just got one row of circuit breakers uh, installed, and I've got the, f the other two rows uh, empty because the, uh, I'm gonna have a lot more breakers in here when we transfer all the uh, cables over from the main house when we move the fuse box over into the plant room. So a lot of empty space there to be uh, filled in the future. So the other thing I've done is I finished painting all of the corners. I sanded down all of the extra filler in the corners of the room, plus uh, put the panel in here in the corner. So that's a corner panel, which is an access panel. We can take that off. Uh, when uh, we need to access the plumbing and also EDF will be pulling that panel off and drilling through the wall when they extend uh, well when they move the electricity meter and put it into the plant room so um, <laughs> got an awful lot done today and um, tomorrow is going to be interesting we're going to start mounting the Victron equipment to the plant room wall looking forward to that okay guys I'll catch you next time